welcome back everybody to another all things nerd video as always my name is nathan welcome back to exploring the world of azeroth in world of warcraft today's out of bounds adventure leads us to the raid of high mall where we are in the warlords of draenor expansion over in nagran and today i'm going to be showing you how i got out of bounds now uh it's you know fairly simple all you gotta do uh really is just jump anywhere and you can get out i don't know what blizzard was thinking i guess they just thought why should we put walls up to protect i guess it doesn't really matter <laughs> but yeah um over here is the underbelly and uh yeah i'm gonna be showing you how i got out of bounds now uh this oob bounty from the atn community is going to be going to i'm checking my list here from hero at the moment uh high mall looks like it is going to uh oh it is going to steven and Samert. so congratulations to them i don't know if i use their method i mean i don't think there really is a method here to get out you literally just jump over the wall but uh, yeah, to they get the credit for the OOB, and this is how I am going to get out. So I'm over here by the underbelly, by the butcher, right before you go into his arena over here. I'm literally just jumping up right here, jumping up right over here, flying across, and just right there. You're already out of the map. <laughs> that's it there's not really a strategy here um and then i'm just gonna go land on the bridge now what's really funny is i didn't think blizzard intended people to be out here obviously but why they didn't put more protection i guess because the raid was so open that they were just like ah who cares we don't really care if people go so all right we're out of the raid and uh, let's go take a look around guys i'm excited to go explore I've never actually been out here yet. Uh, well, actually, that's not true. One other time, because I had to break out. Now, I don't know all the death walls, the DCs, the stuff like that. We might run into a few of those, so please excuse me if I have to clip the video a few times with some editing. Uh, I don't know where all the death walls are and stuff like that, so let's go take a look around and see what they actually keep outside of the High Mall raid. Uh, you know, I'm really sad as a World of Warcraft longtime veteran player I'm really sad that the ogre was never an actual playable race. Uh, you know, a, a long time ago, the ogres were supposed to ship with the original game, but Blizzard didn't want too tall, uh, what do you say, too tall characters on the horde because they already had the Tarn. So instead they made the trolls and that's where we got the trolls from. Uh, but originally the ogres were supposed to take place for the trolls if I'm understanding correctly. Now, this is really neat. I like this over here. I haven't been to the ground in a while, to be honest with you guys. So, you know, we're just going to have to kind of go by the map outside here. Obviously, we're going this way. So, we're going to the ancestral grounds over here. And let's go take a look at this really neat looking like ogre skull cave they got outside the map here. Now, I've been told that outside of High Mall is a lot. Like, there is a lot to actually explore out here. So, that's very exciting to hear. Uh, like I told you guys, I've actually never been out here myself. But let's go take a look around and see. Ooh, I do like this. But they do keep the Ancestral Stone here. And can you actually go up inside of there is the question. And I believe you can, because it looks like a little small cave area. And you could probably get a good view over here. Oh, that scared me for a minute. I thought that was like a shark or something in the distance. And I was like, what the heck? We got to go check that out, but it's not. It's just one of those mushrooms sticking out of the ground. Um, but you do get a good little view out here of the moon. And not only the moon, but you get a good view of uh, I'm all from the side here. So that's really neat as well. Warlords of Draenor is was such an interesting expansion because sadly to a lot of people, Draenor could have been the best expansion that Blizzard had ever made, especially in the World of Warcraft universe. Uh, and the reason being is because they cut so much from the expansion that, you know, we were supposed to have the homeland of the Ogres and where they came from. Uh, and we were supposed to have a backstory of that. And, all, you know, a lot of just a lot of content was cut. I don't remember exactly what the land was called of their homeland 
or uh, the place that they were coming from. But there was a lot of things in the Draenor expansion that, you know, could have made it the best expansion ever. And uh, like Blizzard always does, they cut things out to save time and to cut, cut corners, sadly, unfortunately. Which is very disappointing. It would have been awesome. But who knows? Maybe in the future we'll get playable ogres. You never know. And you know what's funny too is that that's why they had so many models uh, for the ogre like animations and all that. Because the reason why also they didn't know how to make uh, the... They didn't know how to model the female ogres. So because they couldn't come up with a female model, they didn't put them in the game either. So they thought of just going with the... Uh, trolls and said now this is something really interesting so because we're in the high mall raid and we haven't like killed all the bosses and all that the sky in the you know you guys saw it's fair it's darkened because they got the whole um Cho chogal right that's the name the twin-headed ogre the evil one he did like the magic or whatever and it lit up the sky and all that but normally nagran is actually lit up and as you come into this cave it knows that you're inside of the cave in the ground and so when you come in here the, all the light and all that comes back so it's like you're acting like you're actually outside because that's what you're supposed to be seeing outside the cave here but if we walk back out here it's going to take us back into high mall which then look at the sky and everything changes which is really sad i wanted to see everything lit up now unfortunately when i drink the stinky bright potion that doesn't help either for whatever reason i don't know why but, um, I was really sad about that. I thought it would light up everything, but it doesn't. Now, as you guys can tell, they do keep some of the structures back here on the distance. So we would technically be right over here on the coast. Yeah, like right around here, right? That only makes sense. So we'd be on the, the, uh, the west side over here. And they do keep a lot of the structures out here. Now, so far, we haven't ran into any death walls, which I'm really happy about. Um, which, I don't know, I'm really happy, because that would suck to keep running into death walls, but Blizzard was just like, eh, whatever. And I think that also speaks for them being rushed for time, right? Is them not putting death walls out here, and, you know, uh, Draenor was a very rushed expansion, unfortunately. And they didn't give themselves enough time to make all of it that they really wanted to put into it now look at this you got like these floating uh huh, bird nests going on up here can we get to that i want to go see it up close there we go we can get to anything we're demon hunters check this out it's so strange huh now why the other ones aren't floating i don't know but this one's just floating so i don't know it's really weird not sure about that one now let's go take a look out this way and let's go up uh let's go east and let's go head out and see what we can find now that's kind of neat that they do keep all of this out here and if you keep going back that way that actually heads back towards the high mall raid so we don't want to do that we want to go see what's out farther into the map here I hope you guys all enjoyed my latest videos with uh, the Maelstrom and also, what did I just do recently? It was the Maelstrom and what's outside of, uh, gosh, I can't think of the top of my head, but I don't know. I hope you guys enjoyed my recent videos. I had a lot of fun making. I have a lot of fun making every single video. It's so neat to explore everything outside the map. Oh, look at this. We got like an altar setting going on. Can we stand on the middle of it? We're going to be the sacrifice here. We're pretty good looking sacrifice, aren't we? With our gear and all that. Watch out, transmog contest. I'm coming for you. <laughs> all right, we're going to keep going out this way. And usually there's a big structure here, but there's nothing inside. I'm assuming this is supposed to be Oshugun. And that's where the rock lays usually or whatever. So that's actually cut out right here and you can't see anything. So we're going to go head towards uh, down into Talador and then we're going to head up towards like Frostfire Ridge and Gorgron. So we're going to go see if anything lays, but 
as I'm seeing so far, it doesn't look like there's too much on the coast out here. We are on the edge of the map. So we're going to go take a look here. I'll let me guys give you guys a better look of this giant hole in the ground here. If you were to jump in there, that would most likely be DC and death. So I wouldn't do it if I were you. But if you want to jump in there, be my guest. Have fun. <laughs> and tell me how it goes. Alright, let's keep making our way along. Let's go up north here. And let's just keep heading out and see what we can find. We got the KFC flags over here. <laughs> I don't know. In the distance, I thought it looked like a KFC. Because of the red and all that. So, Draenor has the fried chicken, apparently. <laughs> Alright, let's keep heading out this way. We do keep a lot of the camps and the ritual stuff out here. Now, let's keep heading up north and let's go see what else we can find. So far, there isn't too extraordinary stuff out here. It's just the normal Nagran, uh, but uh, but without all the fancy, just kind of cut in half, basically. Oh, here's the flight path, and you got the uh, Kodo on the fire here. That's sad. Anybody want some burnt Kodo? Can we use the mailbox? Oh, we can't. Okay. I was thinking, you know, because like uh, in the capital city OBs, such as like Stormwind, Ogremar, all that, you can actually use the mailboxes, which I thought was an interesting decision on Blizzard's part to keep those active, even in an OB. Let's go across the bridge here. Ooh, okay. So we got an area over here. Now, what is this area exactly? Or have I not discovered it? So where are we on the map? Uh, we're definitely somewhere over here in this area. Oh, I wonder if we can get to the Ring of Trials. Um, but this looks like a goblin area. Oh, we do got some maps of uh, uh, Draenor. Oh no, actually, that is Pandaria, actually. Huh. And we got a bunch of goblin Shredder Miner stuff out here. Let's check that out. And let's keep heading out this way. Oh, here goes the ring over here. Uh, before we go over there, let's go see what's over on this big rock. We're going to go play Lion King. And I would see you guys the circle of life, but... I don't know if you want to hear that or not. Might get some of you to leave. <laughs> uh... And I have nobody to hold me up, unfortunately, so. It's a circle of life. <laughs> that was my attempt. There you go. Now I need someone to raise me up like Simba. All right, let's go take a look at the circle trial thing here over here. Uh, they got a little cave going on. Nothing really in there. Let's go take out the, uh, let's go see what they leave out here in the structure over here. So they do keep most of all, man, this brings back a lot of memories. I remember doing the Draenor expansion and questing in here. Uh, you had to go in here and like infiltrate the place and I don't remember the quest exactly, but, uh, I just remember coming in here as an alliance. Not too much out here. All right, let's keep heading out this way. And let's go see what we can find across the river here. Just across the river bend. Now we're gonna sing Pocahontas. We're going full Disney today, people. By the way, I just want to thank everybody that has been supporting the channel. Um, can't wait to reach 6,000 subscribers. That is incredible and amazing to me. 
I'm so happy that uh, the channel is just growing and growing and growing and it just seems like it doesn't stop and that's that's a blessing you know so I just want to say thank you so much and thank every single one of you that all the comments and likes and when you correct me on things and you, know, you guys know I'm not a big lore enthusiast person so I, I can't say things correctly a lot of times and I always mess up words and but I thank you for being patient with me I, you know it means a lot so you guys are the best and uh, I just want to say thank you you guys know that I'm not a uh, perfect lore person for WoW <laughs> so if you do want to do lore and WoW theories definitely check out my buddy Jedi Warlock uh, he produces really good World of Warcraft lore content and uh, I inspire to grow my channel and be like him and uh, hopefully I can get up to that amount up there and he's doing his channels on fire he's doing a great job and I'm trying to support him as much as I can um, and uh, yeah he's been a good YouTube friend of mine so if you guys haven't I'll definitely put a link in uh, his channel in the description below and uh, you know let's keep uh, getting Jedi Warlock up there because he deserves it he's a good guy and he does uh, great content with lore so really happy with the stuff he's doing and I know some of his subscribers have come over this way, so thank you, Jedi. <laughs> thank you for all the love and support there, too, man. It means more than you know. All right, let's head up the hill here. And uh, let's go see what is up here. I don't think there's too much, because that's the edge of the world. But you never know. There might be something hidden up here or not. If we can get up here, might not be able to. That's okay. I don't think there's anything up there anyways. It's just a hill. So let's actually just go fly around here. Now, I don't know if that is actually part of the high mall raid. I think that's just a separate... Uh, what do you call it? Now, something interesting is the ocean does go all the way out here. So you can see that the edge of the map is right here. So you can actually follow the edge of the world out there, but I think it ends like right there. So there's the line. You can just barely make it out and see it. I know you guys can't see it, but I can see it on my screen. There's a little line right here that actually has the edge of the map or the edge of the world as I would call it. Um, so I don't think there's gonna be too much out in the water anyways. It might be kind of neat to look at. Ooh, we dropped it. All right. Good thing we can um, swim here. Cause that would suck. Alright, let's get on our other mount for now, because if you're using the hoverboard, you have to be on land. Unfortunately, you can't use it in the water. Now you guys know, you can swim in this OOB. So if you're looking to swim, if you're looking to get around and not be afraid to fall in the water, go for it. Now let's go take a look up here. I don't think this is actually part of the high mall raid. Excuse me. I got like burp stuff going here. Um, I think we can make our way out this way. And we can just keep making our way up the hill. And what we can do is we can just keep on OOB climbing here. Now this might actually be part of the raid. I don't think so because I think the raid is way out that way. So I think we're okay coming up here. But maybe. I don't know. Let's go take a look. If it is, we can just jump right back out. No big deal. As you guys saw in the beginning of the video, it's very easy to OOB this raid. So nothing too, uh, too crazy. All right, let's go take a look. Ooh, okay. Nice. All right, so we're getting up pretty high now. Can you see us on the map? No. Okay, yeah. So we're not even in the raid anymore. Now, there is... Now, you can't come up this mountain. And I'd be curious to see if there's anything actually up there. Because that would be a really good view of the whole map, right? Um, I don't know if it's easy to get up there, though. There we go. And then what we can do is we can get up there. Go check out the view. And then we can uh, fly down here and check out this area. So, that'd be fun. Let's go uh, up here real quick. Oh, we fell. All right, um, oh, maybe we can just walk around here. Yeah, I think we should be okay. 
Oh, okay. So either way, we have to go up the hill here. So let's go up this way. Uh, we're failing. This is sad. So let's go up this way. All right. I should do the uh, SpongeBob cut the two hours later. <laughs> uh, so let's go up here. There we go. We should do that. The All right. First try, guys. There we go. We can get a good view of the map up here now. Can we keep going up? Uh, I don't want to waste your guys' time. Um, but look at that. Ooh. All right. So we got a good view. No, we just fell. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Can't have a peaceful moment, can I? Goodness gracious. <laughs> just for like five seconds, all I want to do is just do an OB. And the game's like, nah. Nah, Nathan. You don't get to have fun. You know that. Everything's serious in your life. There we go. So I think what we could do is we can get up this way. There we go. And we can fly across over there. And then get on top of the mountain. And that would be cool. Because that would like overlook everything. So let's attempt it real quick. So what we're going to do is we're going to... Fell rush. Fell rush. Nice. And then we're going to wait for our second fell rush charges again. So we can get up here. And once we get up here. Then I think we should be in pretty much in the clear. There we go. First try. Nice. All right, guys. That actually worked out pretty good. So almost resetting, going all the way down to getting all the way to the top now. Look at us. We got it. We're so good at this game. Oh. Oh. Okay. I say that, and then I almost drop down. So I'm going to stop talking because I think I'm jinxing myself. But I do want to get up here so I can show you guys the cool view up here. Oh, gosh. Okay. Woo. I scare myself from time to time. All right. <laughs> now, now that we've gotten up to high mall and we've gotten up way up here, you guys can take a cool look of what's going on in the back here. So this is what it looks like unloaded. Now, unfortunately, when I drink the stinky bright potion, it doesn't really light up anything. It actually just makes it darker, which is w weird. Um, but what's really funny is if you drink the inky black potion, then it also makes it even darker again. So you, right now, you just have to have the map dark, I guess. Unfortunately, I don't think we have a choice. Now, this isn't part of the raid, right? I don't think it is. I think that's just part of the map in general. So what we can do is let's go fly down here. And let's go take a look. Because if we fly down here, what did we just discover? The broken prep propice? I think that's what it's called. Now, a lot of you know that I discovered these locations because I boosted my demon hunter a while, a long time ago. Because I didn't want to deal with the leveling. I just paid the 60 bucks. I'm like, all right, whatever. And so, or I think I had a free boost. I don't remember, but... There was something I did, and I just boosted it, and I was just like, ah, I'm just going to boost them. So that's why I discover all these locations. My main is a hunter, so um, that's why you're always seeing me discover locations and stuff on the map. So I've been here on my main, <laughs> just uh, not on my demon hunter. So that's why I'm exploring all these places when I'm doing OOB. Speaking of OOB, um, I really need suggestions from you guys on what you want to see. And the reason being is because, um, obviously I have videos for years to come. Like, that's not a problem. But I want to put out the videos you guys want to see the most. Oh god, did we just get trapped down here? Please. There's no way. I think I just got out and I messed myself up. Hold on, hold on. Let's figure this out. But oh, we can't use toys. Gosh darn it. Um, I think what we can do is we can switch to vengeance. And we can infernal strike out and then just jump up. Yeah, okay. Woo. 
See, we're smart guys. We got this. Um, all right. As I was, <laughs> as I was saying, I need your guys' suggestion on what you want to see because um, obviously I can just put out random dungeons and raids and make fun stuff like that. But if you guys want to vote on what to see next, I can always do it. Now I'm just gonna put out stuff that I've never done yet because obviously a lot of dungeons and raids I've already done. And so a lot of you, some of you are coming new to the channel and that's great. And I welcome you. Thank you for coming in. Uh, but some of you are like, Hey, can you do this next? And I'm like, well, <laughs> I've already done it. <laughs> so just got to go check out the videos on the channel, um, which I don't mind going back and doing some of the older dungeons that we've already done again, but I don't want to repeat content right now. Um, now I did do some of the sunlit adventures because hero was gracious enough to show us the stinky bright potions. So I have been doing a series on those. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to see a certain dungeon or scenario or artifact. Hey, there's a boss over here. Freaking Spore. Ooh, you know what? Can we fly out to the ship is my question. Let's go fly out to the ship. And actually, can we get on the backside of the dungeon or raid as well? Let's go take a look. But yeah, um, if you guys want to see anything, just let me know. And I would love to... Um, I love taking suggestions and I love hearing from you guys in the community. And so you're like, Hey, Nathan, it'd be cool if you did this. Uh, if you figured out this, maybe, you know, I would love to learn how to do that. Um, and I will, I'll, I'll try my best to learn what you guys request and I'll go do it for sure. All right, let's go fly out to the boat. Let's go see if we can make it. I think we should be able to Did the cannon move on us. Oh, it's twitching. Look at the cannons twitching. It's like it's firing. I think we can make it on the ship here. Unless you just drop through it, because technically it's out of bounds, isn't it? Nice, we made it. All right, cool. Isn't this the same one in the Iron Docks? I think this is the same one, right? Where you fight the last boss on? Which I did do a video on the Iron Docks. That was a fun video. That's a, that's a sad video, too, because I don't know if you guys have never done the Iron Docks out of bounds. That place is covered and covered and covered with just walls upon walls sadly and uh if you ever try to ob there good luck because you're just gonna get oh you're just gonna get stuck and stuck and stuck and stuck and stuck and uh, it's no fun and i tried to make a video on it and i did and i showed you guys how to get out and blah 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 but that place is a uh, wall massacre so if you ever wanted to ob that place i'm just warning forewarning you now you're not gonna have a fun time uh, unless you guys can figure out a way around the walls. I would love to hear how to do it um, But yeah, so let's actually go ahead back inside the raid here And let's end the video going up the hill and let's go see what we could find outside here So that was cool that we were able to land on the ship But now we're coming back into the high mall raid. You should see us appear over here somewhere But we are pretty far outside the map still Now some of you guys also do OOB. You know, there's huge OOB communities. Um, and I think that's great. And some of you even like say, hey, you missed this or missed that. I apologize if I miss stuff in videos. Like, uh, for instance, if I miss like certain test models outside the map or what did we just find? Gorean Strand. Okay. Uh, if I, if I, if I don't see certain stuff outside the map, I apologize, you know, that just like me or like you guys who have never done this, um, this is my first time doing this. So this is all blind. This is all brand new. I've never been out here. Sometimes I don't know what's out here and what is, and that's what makes it fun to me is I'm on adventures with you guys. And that's what I want to make this channel about. It's just having an adventure with you guys and just exploring stuff for the first time, because just like you, I've, I'm going in blind. I don't know what's out here, and so that's why I'm doing these OOBs, because I want to explore and find out well, what's outside the walls of these maps and dungeons and raids and scenarios. And So that's the reason why I do the channel, is just to have fun, to get respect from the WoW community, and uh, just to have a good time and laugh and make mistakes, <laughs> be Nathan, and um, yeah, just, you know, do OOB with you guys. And uh, sometimes I'm gonna miss stuff. And uh, like, for instance, I didn't do the sign under the Everbloom map. There's actually a giant sign you can see 
under the Everbloom, and I forgot to show it off, but I don't even know how to get down to it, so I'll have to learn how to get down to it. But yeah, there's going to be stuff like that I'm going to miss, and unfortunately, I apologize if I do. Um, I don't mean to do that on purpose. It's just sometimes I mess stuff up, and uh, it just happens, so forgive me if I do. <laughs> just be patient with me. But this is why I'm here. I'm here to have an adventure with you guys. Now, I'm trying to find my way up because I want to get on the backside of this raid. Um, and I'm thinking... Nice. Okay, I'm glad that worked out. Ooh, I didn't think I was going to make that. There we go. All right. Finally, this is where I wanted to get to. Um, I wanted to get on the backside of the raid here. And I want to show you guys if there's anything up here on these mountains. So let's go take a look. Um, I know this video is running pretty long. We're already at 30 minutes, so I do thank you all who's been hanging out and watching the whole video so far. Um, just got a little more for you, and then we can uh, end the video. So let's see if we can actually make our way up these hills here. And um, let's go take a look. Uh, also, speaking about adventures, if you guys do see that I miss stuff, like test models or, you know the pink and black cubes that are outside the map sometimes and i would love to know uh let me know and i will definitely make videos on them in the future and just be like a comp maybe a compilation video of like you know um putting all the objects that i missed or whatever uh so if you guys see that i don't always get stuff you know um i would definitely love to know for sure so course is never my intention to miss stuff but uh it's gonna happen <laughs> all right let's keep moving out this way so far we're doing great work cutting up this hill i want to make it to the top over here so we just got to keep climbing here we're almost there Excuse me. All right. Let's go head up here. Now, if you guys remember, this is the very top of the raid. So the last boss is sitting up in the tower up here. And I think we can get behind it over here. So let's go take a look. See if there's anything. I, always, I was always curious if there's anything up here. Sadly, I don't think there is. But let's go see. Got a big open grassy hills here. Nothing so far that's sticking out. Anything on the back side here that we're missing? I think it's just more hills. There's some little bit of area down here, but I don't think anything too much. Let's go head out this way. And let's go around to the other side of the raid here. All right, so we've gotten to the other side. I don't see anything sticking out too much. But I was hoping maybe something was back here, you know? Sometimes it's worth getting back here, and then sometimes it's not. But that's the risk you take, right? Sometimes these OOB climbing videos are going to pay off, and sometimes you don't see anything, unfortunately. Um... Surprised we're still not showing on the map because I I would think we'd be like up here somewhere, and we're still not showing yet. Just... Oh, there's a pool or like a lake of water up here. A pool. You guys want to go swimming? Oh, so what's interesting? You can get up here and actually skip the whole map. <laughs> so we could probably just kill these dudes right here and get into the last boss room. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to end the video here. I just want to say thank you for joining me on this adventure of Hi'amal. It was a lot of fun to go exploring with you guys. 
um thank you for always supporting the channel and it's just it's just been a blessing and you know we're almost six thousand subscribers um i hope all of you are going to be signed up for the trans mod contest coming up that's going to be a lot of fun there's going to be um uh, one hosted in europe and one in na at the same time true hero is going to be hosting the one in europe i'm going to be hosting the one in na and uh, yeah we're just going to have a good time we're going to be judging the transmog outfits and uh, we will pick a winner for each one and then uh, those winners will receive amazon gift cards of 50 dollars. so yeah it's going to be a great time can't wait for that coming up if you guys have any suggestions of future videos you want me to do please put it in the comment section below i will do my best to do those out of bounds scenarios artifacts scenario, whatever you guys want just let me know i'll try my best and uh yeah guys as always my name is nathan I'll catch you on the next video. Take care.